Hi, and welcome back to this uh, biological psychology video course. In this section, section four, we're going to talk about memory. Now, this is uh, section 4.1, the introduction to, uh, to section 4. So we're going to start with, uh, with some reading. And as for the other sections of this video course, we're going to use the free textbooks from OpenStax, which you can download from openstax.org. Uh, and in this case, we're going to use from the psychology textbook, uh, chapter 8 on memory. Now, I always like to recommend also a more accessible textbook for the interested uh, viewer. And in this case, I would like to recommend the book uh, Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman, this book. I don't have to cover, but uh, normally it looks as you see here on the screen. Um, Daniel Kahneman is the only, so far the only psychologist ever to win a Nobel Prize. He won it in the, in the field of economics, actually, because there is no Nobel Prize for psychology. But his work on, on uh, essentially human factors in economics has won him a Nobel Prize. Um, and... In this book, he talks about the distinction between system one and system two, as he describes it. So this distinction between, on the one hand, the way that we make decisions based on our gut feelings, sort of without actually consciously thinking about our decisions. And on the other hand, uh, our, the way that we sometimes in other situations make decisions based on conscious introspection. So when sort of our analytical thinking, right? These, according to him, these are different systems. They are, I think, different systems to some extent. Um, so this is really a good book. Well written. He's a very he's a great scientist, really. Um, I should say that it is partly outdated because some of the chapters rely on studies from social psychology mostly that have during the so-called replication crisis in psychology been shown to be uh, non-reproducible, to be essentially not real, right? So um, take a few. That is a shame, and it is I, I kind of feel bad for Daniel Kahneman that his great book <laughs> suffers. From these, uh, from these, uh, from this replication crisis, but keep that in mind while you, when you're reading Thinking Fast and Slow, that not all of the findings that he describes are probably true. But as a whole, I think the book is still very much worth reading. Now, so what are we going to take a look at in this section? In video 4.2, we're going to take a very brief look at what memory is. Then in 4.3, we're going to take a look at sensory memory, sort of the most basic form of memory that we have, sort of a trace that that perceptual impressions leave in our brain. Then we're going to take a look at working memory, sort of the type of memory that you use, for example, when you're keeping a phone number in mind, right? When someone tells you a phone number and you sort of keep that, you're rehearsing that in your working memory to not forget it. And then we're going to take a look at working memory. So working memory is essentially every form of memory that lasts for a very long time and does not require active rehearsal. Um, and finally, we're going to take a look at a very fascinating subject, namely the reliability of memory. And we're going to take a look at the various ways in which memory can be uh, distorted or lost. Now with that, let's move on to video 4.2, in which we're going to take a look at uh, what memory is.